So I'm gonna click start. Okay, so basically this is our unit one assignment. It's really cool because you actually get to be the global supply, it's not global, but the supply chain behind the products that you will make and sell. You will be making food, desserts, really. I have a sign-up sheet here so that everybody, including me, will bring a raw material to class on Tuesday. So someone will bring strawberries, someone will bring whipped cream, someone will bring banana, someone will bring jam, someone... I will make cake. I will make cake. Okay? Crackers, cookies, gummy bears, chocolate pudding. So everybody will contribute in bringing a raw material. In the beginning of the game, you will have six dollars, six cards representing six dollars. You will use that money, obviously, to buy raw material from me. You will also manufacture, so you can make whatever dessert you want, whatever dessert you want. You will then become the retailer. Okay, so you will try to sell the products that you manufacture to the customers. So you will do all three. You will do the supplier, meaning buy the raw material from me. You will become the manufacturer. Design your own dessert. Isn't that cool? And finally, you will try to sell it yourself. Now, I need to divide you into the four areas of management. Right? So one of you or two, depending on, because I'm dividing the class into four groups. One group will focus on one area of global supply chain management. Because the point of the game is to see which of those four strategies is best to follow. Obviously, in a real world, companies would try to do a little bit of all four. But we're just trying to do, hypothetically, in an imaginary world, if a company had to choose only one, which one should the company choose? Because each team will be doing different strategies. Everybody's ready? Feel good? Look on the board, look on the board. These are your final customers, right? The two receptionists in the front, me, Helen, Shisato, I'm not sure if that's how, we, how you spell her name, but Shisato, and then Kevin. Oh, Lisa! I forgot Lisa. Okay, these are the eight customers. Okay, who's next? Oh. Hi, Young? Uh, no, no. Okay, <laughs> next please. What would you like? The customers are waiting. What would you like? Three pieces of cracker is three. What what does it say? No, three is one dollar only. Because we have a lot of them. Yes. Uh, What would you like? Uh, two scoops of whipped cream. Okay, two scoops of whipped cream. Oh, we have strawberries. Look at them. Oh, look at how cute that is. Looks almost like a pizza. A small mini pizzas. Very creative. Um, you you uh, you buy two, so I can discount. Okay. So because I don't want to uh, left over leftover food, mm -hmm. so I can give it two. Just three dollars. Yes, three dollars. Oh, thank you very much. She gets all three. Okay. Um, any other thoughts? General comments. General thoughts. <laughs> I 
does that agree with you? Oh no. So like okay. the price I said, I said one price and he said another, and I was really confused. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's good for us to decide. So, you think having a partner actually was a disadvantage? No, if you have enough time to agree okay. with the things before, okay. would you be a advantage? What happened at the yeah, What happened at the Okay. <laughs> um, <coughs> Anybody else? How was it working with a partner? Was it easy or do you think it made the task more difficult? Easy? Difficult? Easy? Okay. Why don't we talk about the strategies now? Um, the first group, you were the right product. You time, Jessica, the right product. Share with us what you did. Okay. Can you share with us what questions you asked? Each other Mark the research in the beginning. Yeah. Okay. So uh, your group was the first group, was the only group who did not approach me in the beginning to buy raw materials. You, what you did was you went to the customers first. Okay. Looking back now, do you think that was a good decision? Mm, if, if we have out of that, maybe the decision is good, but we don't have it. 